Hey, what's cracking, Jack? I found a good drag and drop builder, GUI builder for TK Inter to build GUIs. But you can look at it while you're building it. And for someone like me, that's really helpful because I'm not a designy type person. And it's actually useful. So you don't have to rely on another website or the API or the other one. So let me show you. I'm like so excited. I'm barely even going to speak English, although it's my first language, but just stay with me. Because although you still need to learn TK Inter, TK Inter being the GUI builder in the standard library for Python, you still need to learn it. And there is a bit of a learning curve. So you still need to understand how it works. This doesn't negate that part, but it makes life a whole lot easier. All right, this is it. This is it here. I'm going to call it PyGooBoo. It, that may be wrong, but GUI is a weird name anyway, and or it's Gaboo, Gooboo, PyGaboo, PyGooBoo. I'm going to call it PyGooBoo. And it's free and open source by this person here from Argentina who's done an excellent job. I'll, I'm, I'm not even going to do it, mate. It's going to be, I'm going to butcher it. Fantastic work. Okay, so this isn't going to be a f full tutorial. This is just, hey, look, there's this shiny thing that works really well. Go and have a look. But maybe I'll break it down further if people get stuck. But it's called PyGooBoo. It's in GitHub. There's two parts to it, though. So you've got the PyGooBoo. And it, it's a rapid development tool. It's saved as an XML file. And it's fantastic. But you need the PyGooBoo builder. So the... It looks like this PyGooBoo part is the part that saves and reads the XML file, but the PyGooBoo builder is the actual interface to put it together. So this is the GitHub page for PyGooBoo. You can just pip install PyGooBoo, that's fantastic. And this is what it, it gives you, an XML file of all the different properties and things like that. Um, and it, it, it shows you what you gotta do. I will put a link to it in the description. So that's PyGooBoo, but first you need PyGooBoo Designer here. The two different repositories. So PyGooBoo Designer is this. The actual drag and drop, you know, the actual interface to build the graphical user interfaces. I don't know how to say it. It's like the interface to build the interfaces, but this is it here. And I, I think it might be even built in TK Inter, but so this is a screenshot. We're going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up. But I just wanted to say that you need to get PyGooBoo Designer and the PyGooBoo itself. So this designs it and then the straight up PyGooBoo is the one that does the XML file part, as far as I can tell. But none of this will work if you don't have both of them. Read the instructions carefully. It's a bit tricky, but once you get there, it is totally worth it. There's also a wiki that's it's not bad. Like, you know, you can't you can't be knocking free software. Like these people put effort into it. So this is me trying to contribute and help because it took me such a long time to install it. But anyway, there is a wiki there. It does help. It is helpful. You also just need to understand how TK Inter works. So this doesn't negate that part. Let's look at the the main the main star of the show here. It is so good. I was so excited. What took me like over a week to build I think I did it in like two hours once I got this up and running. It is so good. Okay, here is our main attraction. I've rearranged the screen a bit, so hopefully you can see it. Read it, it's readable. Or maybe it's because I have bad eyesight, one of the two, but this is the builder. So, quick little run through. This isn't a full tu tutorial though, but it's it's pretty user-friendly. So you got your containers, you know, your frames, your label frame, notebook. Controls and display, so your buttons, canvas, check buttons, combo box, entries, all those little bits and pieces. You've got arrows there, there's more. It's pretty damn fancy. You've got your menus. So all, all these are available in the TK Inter library anyway sort of thing, but this makes it so much easier. It just lays it all out. You've got your different windows. I think we just did that. Um, and then you've got your scroll frames and tree views and dialogues and combo boxes. And probably one of the most important parts is this part here, so this is TTK widgets. Then you've got TK there. When you select that, they're different widgets because you have TK and you have TTK. So that still applies in this. So you need to understand what those two different things are. But let's just chuck something together so I can show you the code tab, which is really cool. And there's different themes. Look at this. TTK themes, look. You can change the themes. Look at that. 
Isn't that cool? All right, okay, sorry. I'm excited. So these, this is your button, and then you've got these options. Now, these, all these properties are available in the normal TK inter entries, like when you're coding them, but you've kind of got to be aware of them, and, and I really like with this how it brings them up for you as an option to kind of prompt you at the same time because you go, oh, I didn't know it could do that. What happens if I type that in, you know? And if you look and hover, it tells you what it is. Foreground, specifies the normal foreground color to use when displaying the widget. Like if you, what's pad Y? Specifies a non-negative value indicating how much extra space to request for the widget in the Y direction. Like it gives a little descriptions as well. So if you don't know what it does, it also has the descriptions on there too when you hover. So, and there's a color picker, which is awesome because I don't really know these numbers well. Look at that. Okay, that was the wrong thing, but then you've got your layout options, you pack, you grid, you place. It moves as you do it. So then you can see, you can get it all right and nice and placed well, etc. You ready? You know what really excites me about this? You go up the top to code, only that for the application. So that generates an XML file, which you then reference in your code. But you can also do this. So if you go across to code, code script, generate, that's your actual code. So you can see you've got your entry widgets, you've got your button widgets. So you can just copy and paste that if you want. So you can design it and get it all looking all nice without having to constantly run your script and you know fiddling around and then go across to the code and you can export it as an XML file and reference it that way. Or you can also just copy and paste the actual code itself and it's already laid it all out for you and then you can make extra changes if you want. It is so cool. It is really cool. And I haven't really done it justice in this really quick walkthrough, but I absolutely recommend it if you are playing around with TK Inter. You still need to understand how TK Inter works. This helps me to speed up development great because design and layout isn't really my strong point. I'm more of a back-end type person. Check it out. It is so good. Or if you know of any other good GUI builders for TK Inter, let me know. I know there's one online. There's like a drag and drop one, which was, it was helpful. Um, wasn't really what I was looking for. And there's another one that does through the API, I think for Figma or something. It's a little bit fiddly around with me and I don't want to really have to rely on another additional service to kind of get it back and... It didn't look like the code was that editable afterwards. Um, whereas this, you can still change things. Like it's still readable. Um, but they're all great free open source projects. Not knocking them in any way, shape or form. But I found this one to be the simplest and kind of user friendly once you get it up and running. Just remember there's PyGuru and there's PyGuru Designer. You need those two parts. Anyway, this video is going to go on forever. I could probably do like a uh, hundred hour tutorial on this thing. It is so good, but I won't because I don't want to inflict that much pain on the world. Let me know if you find it helpful.